so just a question on the timing uh, on the supply chain issue. Yeah. Um, actions that the president has taken. It, it was clear in March of 2020 when COVID hit that, that the supply chains across the world have been disrupted. Even as as the sort of work to fight back against COVID proceeded, people it was it was crystal clear that things were not improving on supply chain. People couldn't get dishwashers and and furniture and treadmills delivered on time. Not to mention all sorts of other things. So why the is the tragedy it of the short the treadmill that's delayed? Right. Yep. Go ahead, Peter. Thank you, Jen. Why is the administration flying thousands of migrants from the border to Florida and New York in the middle of the night? Uh, well, I'm not sure that it's in the middle of the night, but let me tell you what's happening here. Um, it is our 4:29 a.m. Well, he, very he, early in the morning. Here we are talking about it. early flights, earlier than you might like to take a flight. Okay. Uh, to follow up on some of the tax talk, there's this new proposal by Democrats in Congress and the Treasury Secretary to start monitoring every bank account that has $10,000 of cash flow per year. So, is the plan to catch? billionaire tax cheats by snooping on accounts that just have $10,000 in them? Well, that's not exactly an accurate description. So let me help you with an accurate description of what is actually happening here. And just one on vaccine requirements. If the whole point of a vaccine mandate is to make people safer, but a vaccine mandate also means tons of police and military may walk off the job, then at the end of the day, does a vaccine mandate make people safe? Well, where are tons of police and military walking off the job? Well, the Washington Post says that hundreds of thousands of U.S. service members remain unvaccinated, uh, which is leading to questions about possible military readiness. Uh, the L.A. County Sheriff says that 5 to 10 percent of their workforce could walk off the job. And so considering the, I mean, is there any concern about that? Well, I would say what we point to, or what I would point you to, is evidence with uh, a range of companies, organizations. Frankly, the Department of Defense can also give you the up-to-date statistics on members of the military. I believe it's over 90 percent, but I would point you them in for statistics. Branches, but there are other problems in the world than COVID-19. <laughs> International terror, gang violence, murder, arson, drug what, dealing. What was, Is there any what, concern what was about the dealing high, with these what was things? The, what was the number one cause of death among police officers last year? Do you know? COVID-19. So that's something that we're working to address and police departments are working to address. If you look at Seattle as an example, which I know has been in the, some of the reporting, 92 percent of the police force is vaccinated, as are 93 percent of firefighters. 99 percent of Seattle's 11,000 employees have submitted vaccine verification or an exemption request. Safety, though, all these other problems, terror, murder, robberies, kidnappings. Is there any concern that if police forces shrink or if the size of the ready military force shrinks, that the United States or localities may not be equipped properly Peter, to deal with Peter, more than 700,000 people have died of COVID. Uh, again, it was the number one cause of death among police departments and police officers. It's something that we should take seriously. Departments are trying to save people in their departments, people who work for them. We support that effort, and there's been success across the country in that regard. Yeah, Details. Go ahead. Still just, believe just, that uh, Build Back Better will not add a dime to the national debt. Correct. It won't. Why would he, why, why should Americans believe that? Because it won't. Go ahead. What if taxes that he says he wants to you know, get more taxes in? What if it doesn't happen? What if the economy goes sour? Lots of things can happen. Mm -hmm. What are you you're gonna tell from up there future generations, not even born yet, that they're not on the hook for this. Is that right? That's right, and hopefully you'll report accurate information yourself. I think we're going to keep going along. Go ahead. Emerald, I think we've spent plenty of time with you today. Go ahead. Why is the Biden administration Emerald, what? Emerald, let's give some other people more time here, okay? Thank you. Go ahead. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power. 